morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Friday, January 25. Getting close to the end of the first month already. Who would have guessed it? Tricky, tricky day ahead of us today. We had some risk on last night. Equities are a little bit higher. Um, and dollar yen's a little bit higher. We'll core short dollar yen in the long term book. And we're going to look to resell it again today in the short term book. Um, let's just take a quick look at dollar yen. It's interesting. There should be um, there should be some risk above 110 the figure now. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait for 110 the figure to break, and then sell uh, either back down through 110 or try and sell 1108s or 1105s between 110 the figure and 11020. Um, and depending on your style and your risk parameters, you can put that on a number of different ways. But the key is to get short dollar yen between 110 and 110.20. Euro yen very interesting, uh, down to 80 last night, which was kind of an important, you know, sort of trend line break. This is the death knock up here at 40. Looks like Euro yen wants to squeeze. Uh, boons are are too high. You get the feeling boons are going to turn. Here's the boons they gapped lower already at the open. And boons look like they want to turn. So euro yen, be careful. You want to play this on the long side. Same thing with euro dollar. Uh, we made a new yearly low last night to 90, but it was a very weak low. The key level is 112.70. There's no real reason for euro dollar to squeeze, but it could easily squeeze. Um, so. We're just watching Euro dollar now. I don't have a don't have a dog in this fight, but we are just watching this. But it looks like it wants to squeeze. Cable, okay, of course, has made new highs. Held right where it should yesterday. That sort of 130, 15, 20 area. All the way up to 131, 40. I haven't even seen the news flow on this Brexit bullshit, but my, maybe something on Brexit has come out. Um, We'll have to see uh, a little bit after this. I will get a deeper dive into that and throw some ideas up on Twitter. But we're square. Sterling, if you are still long from Wednesday, that's awesome. Um, this looks very solid now. I mean, we talked about the next point is 131.78. So we got some room on the top side here uh, for Sterling longs. Aussie. We're still sell on rally on the Aussie. Looks like we're going to squeeze up to 25. So today the, the intraday sell point is between 25 and 30. Bearish engulfed yesterday. It's very powerful. Aussie's still a sell. Aussie yen, you're just going to have to wait. Uh, yesterday we added some risk through 77. It looked okay for like 10 seconds, but then you know now it's squeezed all the way back up. Uh, because dollar yen looks like it wants to squeeze, you want to wait to resell Aussie yen. 78, 20, 30 area. In general, it looks like we're going to be risk on today. Euro yen is going to squeeze, boons lower, uh, and dollar yen is going to squeeze higher. We're going to take this opportunity to sell risk once dollar yen clears 110. Uh, and for the exact timing, just follow us on Twitter. You'll I'll, uh, I'll zing some stuff on. All right. Uh, have a good one today. Make loads of cash, and I will see you on Monday. Ciao.